In this video, I'm going to show you how to mechanically integrate a function using uh, integration by parts. And essentially, this is the inverse of the product rule. And I'm going to start off by showing you what I mean when I say that this is the inverse of the product rule. By the way, the inverse of the product rule, that's not an official term. That's just kind of like what I'm calling it. Maybe inverse isn't a good word. How about we just call it the reverse product rule? And so I'm going to start off by writing the product rule. Right? If we have two functions multiplied by each other and we want to take their derivative, in this case with respect to x, we're going to get f prime x times gx, the function itself, plus the function f of x multiplied by g prime x. And you know, you've had some tests on this. Uh, we've been seeing this a lot for a few weeks now, so hopefully that's very, you're very familiar with this equation. Now, uh, to get to the integration by parts, I'm going to integrate this thing. And I'm going to leave the derivative with respect to x on the outside there. And I'm going to integrate f of x, g of x, with respect to d of x. And of course, I'm going to integrate this whole thing. So I'm going to integrate both sides. So I get f prime of x, g of x. Oh, almost forgot my dx plus the integral of f of x g prime of x. And to get to the integration by parts formula, I'm going to rearrange this. And I'm going to isolate this expression here. And when I do that, uh, well, I'll do that in a moment. Notice that we've got the derivative of an integral that's integrating with respect to x. And so those two are just going to cancel each other out. And maybe I'll just rewrite this expression. Whoops. I can just rewrite this expression with no integral as f of x g of x is equal to the integral f prime of x gx dx plus this thing that I'm going to be isolating in a moment. There. Now, let me isolate this. And when I do that, I'm going to write it over here on the left-hand side. I've got f of x times g prime of x is going to be equal to f of x gx, that's this thing over there, minus this thing here. The integral of f prime x gx, like so. And this is our formula for integrating by parts. Uh, don't worry if you have no idea how to use this formula, that's okay. Uh, I don't blame you. I would have no idea how to use this formula either. I'm going to show you how to use this formula uh, through a couple examples and then I'll let you do one and then we'll solve it together. So, but we can use this formula to kind of take the product of two functions and then figure out what the, the integral of those, of that product is. And our first example of using this formula, and maybe I will just copy this whole thing and bring it down here with us. Now, here's an expression that we, have, we don't know how to integrate, or using what you learned in sections 9.1, 9.2, and 9.3, uh, you wouldn't know how to integrate the log of x. Now, how do we use our formula for integration? Well, I'm going to start off by uh, writing the thing that I want to integrate. You know, this is going to be the thing, the thing we want to integrate. And I'm going to write 
the integral of the log of x and I'm missing a function so I'm actually just going to add in a 1. Right? I can do that, right? It doesn't change the answer. And you're going to see why I'll do that in a minute. And then this right hand side we're going to figure out what we're supposed to put on the right hand side in a moment. Now here we have two functions. And I'm going to write this, type this out. Assign one function as f of x, right? That's at the top. And the other function as g prime of x. All right, so we're looking at the thing we want to integrate. Hopefully we've got two functions there, a product, two functions. And one of them we're going to designate f of x, and the other is going to be g prime of x. Choose f of x as the, the function which is easy to find the derivative of. Or choose f of, choose f of x yeah, no, I guess we'll leave it like that. Choose f of x as the function which is easy to find the derivative of. Choose g prime of x as the function which is easy to find the integral of. So why don't we, tr in this case, we've got two functions. We've got log x and we've got 1. And I don't know how to integrate log x. There's no rule that I've taught you. There's no rule that I know for finding the integral of log x. But finding the derivative of the log of x is really easy. So why don't we let log of x be equal to f of x? And that implies f prime of x is going to be equal to what? It's going to be equal to 1 over x. Now g of x, we've, oh well, I deleted it, 1, it's going to be equal to, well, g prime of x, and it's a good candidate for g prime of x because what is the integral of 1 with respect to dx? It's just equal to x. Notice that I've got 1, 2, 3, four functions identified. And what have we got up here? We've got one, two, three, and four. Maybe I should actually make sure that they're matched. This is two over there, and this is three over there. So let's write it out. I'll move this down just a little bit, make sure it's not in the way. And now let's use the formula. So we want to write f of x. What's f of x? f of x is log of x. So I've got log of x. And what's g of x? g of x is x minus, oh, look at that. I forgot the d of x. Minus the integral. What's f prime of x? f prime of x is 1 over x. What's g of x? Well, that's just x and dx. Oops, having some sort of problem here. dx. Now, now I've given us some uh, nice open space to work with here. And all we have to do next, if we want to find the derivative of log x dx, I just write x log x minus, well, 1 over x times x, that's just equal to 1, right? 1 over x times x, that's equal to 1, and the integral of 1 dx is equal to x. So I get x log x minus x. And 
there's our answer. That's our answer using uh, integration by parts. What's the proof? Well, the proof is very easy. All I have to do is take the derivative of my answer. Oh, oh, you know, look what I'm doing. I'm going to lose all kinds of marks on the final exam. I forgot the C. Never forget the C when we're integrating uh, indefinite integrals. If I want to take the derivative of this thing, I'm going to I'm going to use the product rule, so I'm going to have log x plus x over x. Hmm, something wrong with my something wrong with my tablet here, and. I've got um, minus x, or I should say minus 1, because I'm taking the derivative. And what's the answer? We've just got log x plus 1 minus 1, which is equal to log x. And that is exactly what we were taking the integral of. That was our integrand. And so we know that this is true. If I want to find the integral of log x with respect to x, the answer is x log x minus x plus some constant value.